and we are back. Yes, yes, we are. You saw the book. All right. Was that the book? Yeah. Okay. And we're back with Crash the Next Way Station. A, a really good Zerg map if the if the spawns are the long ones. Yeah, this is a very nice way to design a map. So no, everybody wants to veto it. Oh. Yes, and Kras is happy he didn't veto it. And Next is really angry he didn't veto it. Yeah, still, um, Roach play very powerful in these positions, in my opinion. Yeah, definitely. So. But we still have the issue of taking the third. Yeah. So the thing is, you don't want to put on more than one tumor early on. Yeah. But with one tumor, how do you get down here? It's problematic. All right, traveling across Europe on a bike, not happening. Yeah, so... Um, Probably wouldn't make it, just like the queens on this map. Good luck, have fun, says next. Yeah. And yeah, I, I agree. You know what um, I would like to see here? What? Two base Helion Banshee with Cloak. Why? Because it's so good here when it's such a big area for the queens to cover. Oh, yeah, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really hard to maneuver the and queens And it's around. also good against Like, mm, 4GG roaches. would be god in this map. Yes. I can't imagine. 4G is pretty god on any map though, so... Yeah. What do you have to say about this map? What do you think? What do you want to see from them? I mean, uh, again, on these positions, I would probably opt to go for Roaches if I was in, in uh, next shoes. And I've been experimenting a lot more with Roach play, because I'm not very good at meter. My mechanics are not... You need to be a really fast player, as you would say, so... Yeah. So, would it be two base Roaches or three base? Uh, you, and there's plenty of, of of openers. I think the ideal, ideally, you, you you have three base, but on maps like this or ha or habitation station, for example, where your third might be a little bit further away. Yeah. Um. Or you or in the case of habitation station, you're natural, so easy to defend because of the ramp. So yeah. I think you can start with two base, do a do a little bit of a push, and then take your third behind it, and it's not the worst thing in the world. Yeah. Okay, I agree with that. That seems like a good idea, actually. I'm not sure if. Uh, Next will do that though. He seemed very set on playing Mutas. Because last game. Because of the game on Frost? Come on. Yeah, that. Because those spawns really favor roaches and stuff okay, like that. Okay, fair enough. Like, if you w if you have the option to go roaches, you will definitely choose that on those spawns. Don't yeah, you agree? Perhaps. Yeah. But the gas is very late. Could we, we could be seeing something weird with gasless. Uh, Normally the gas goes down at around 245, but now it's 310. This could be gasless. I think it's yeah, gasless. Yeah, it looks gasless. So but far. then you wouldn't want to make an overload until 18, is what I do. If it's gasless, you don't make it till 18? Mm. Oh, I make it at 17. I must be doing something Why? wrong. I don't know. I, because when you... I just never okay. never thought about the mathematics about it. Okay. Well, now you... You don't get supply blocked at all? I don't know. <laughs> I don't think about the mathematics. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you make it at 18. You don't get Yeah, because yet? when you make gas, then you make it at 17, don't you? No, when you make gas, you can drone up to 218, then make the overlord or, and, and the gas because you free up the extra supply for an extra drone, so okay. the larva doesn't float. Okay, okay, sure. But if you make it at 18, I think it larva... I'll make the float. gas at 16 with this one, which is 10. Okay. Either way, Crash sees it's pretty big move. I'm very curious what we're going to see from next, because... Yeah, mm. Castles is a little bit gutsy on this map, because yes. th there is some jumping area for the Reapers, so... Yeah. Oh, wow. Very wow. Nice. Very nice. The micro. Yeah, yeah. Zero links. Oh, wow. Zero links lost. One Reaper gone. And that's now. Like, that's oh, impossible. he made one. No, he made two. Oh. Yeah. Um, but Either th this way. is still really good for next. Fantastic next. Yeah, and with just one Marine in the back, he knows there's not a third Reaper coming up. He can basically do everything without any fear of getting harassed for a long while. You're seeing a weird build by Crest, though. Yeah, it looks like an illusion build. Yeah, sure. Yeah. I don't know if this is his build or not. But well, I don't know if it's Illusion's build. It's just like an Illusion type build. He does he this stuff. I don't like to play yeah, against it. Pressure. Complete ass. If you don't go Overlord speed against those players, it's really difficult. Yeah. Because many turn players you can kind of blind count. You know they're not going to do something like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, yeah. In North America, at least, QXC and Illusion are pretty unpredictable. Is QXC also. unpredictable? I would think he played very standard. Um, No, he's pretty unpredictable, mm -hmm. I think. Especially with, like, not so much the timings, but the units, they will do whatever they, they want. Ah, <laughs> the cars. Yeah, the cars. The cars <laughs> will run in, man. <laughs> they're not scared. Yeah, they're not scared. When QXC um. is driving, the cars are going wild. <laughs> that's, that's well said. Thank you. Um. I see it's going to be well played by Crass, because this is very ballsy, I think. Yep, two gases for next, and he's taking the, natural, the gases at the natural. Oh, Anyone? next. 
Now he thinks this is just 3cc because yeah, this it looks, looks very like it. Yeah, 3CC. it looks like 3cc stem. Yeah, ah. that's unfortunate for him. Uh, but, but at the same time, he's on two base roach, so this is going to be perfectly fine for him. Yeah, yeah. The best, but Kras notices that he doesn't even try to take a third. Yeah. Also, cool to note is uh, for maybe players that are not as experienced, he uh, next took both gases in his natural. So if cards run by or uh, or there's a scan or it's scouted somehow, then it looks a lot like Muta. Um, and this is very, very bad for Kras. You see what it's making from the directors? Reapers. Oh. Ooh, 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 young and nay, nay, nay. Because there's <laughs> roaches. Yeah, roaches coming up. And he hasn't seen the road warrant yeah. yet. So. Yeah, this could be this could be extremely good by next. Yes. And look at us predicting the exact. We didn't really predict we like, anything. Yeah, we did. We said oh, we predicted next. Yeah, 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 we no. did, but not like, trust. How trust. could you predict double reactor or reaper? Yeah, no, that's yeah. impossible. If it was rough, maybe. This is the kind predict. of stuff you would see in EPS when you're preparing as an opponent. Yeah. I yeah, this is very gutsy by Crass, this especially seems... considering the map. Maybe made the same read I did from last game though that next wouldn't want to. Like, if Next was comfortable playing Mutas, he would have done it. I mean, Roaches, he would have done it last game. <coughs> he can still be annoying going the main, I guess. Maybe. I think this is a much more obvious map to go Roaches than Frost, even in those positions. Yeah, I guess. Oh, the third is not going to be spotted, but it's going to be the night. Wrecked. Not a big, not a big deal, but... Oh, he needs to he needs to realize that those Reapers are obviously going to jump in. Yeah. This is annoying to deal with for Kras. Yeah, he needs to pull the drums I mean, out and bring, the, bring the, the Roaches. He's not going to take any damage, but his car, his hand is revealed as well. Yeah. Uh, he's not he's not going to hit. He's, gonna, he's looking to hit a 1-1 one -one timing. He wants a third as soon as possible. Yeah. And, Ooh. Uh, ah, this is very bad for Kras. Yeah. It's not good for Crass. He has reactors on those barracks as well. And he's making bunkers, so he thinks this could be a Roach Bane all in. Uh, yeah. Which is not the case at all. And versus Roach Bane, you kind of want mostly uh, Marines, I think, yeah? But versus this, you m want Marauders. Yeah, I think Marauders are good either way. Maybe yeah, I guess. I mean, if you have a tech club on one of your barracks, you have to yeah. make Marauders. Uh, and he has two tech club, or two uh, reactors here, yeah. so that's unfortunate for him. This is very bad as well. Oh. I'm a bit scared for Kras now. Yeah. Uh, I need to start a third yet. I would like to. Yeah, the factory is gonna make a uh, start making tanks as soon as it can. Mister Next though is very rich. Yeah. Lots of money. I mean that's not a big deal. I no, think. No, because he will be able to spend it with injects. The thing is though, if Kras never moves out, this isn't so bad for him. I I think it is. I think. Oh, QC. How many? Yeah. Well, it's a bit too late, QC. Is it? Uh, he's gonna. Oh, the roach is popping up. Adios. Yeah, I think uh, uh, next uh, plan here should be it's it's easy to go for a strategy and be like, okay, I'm getting one one and roaches and speed. I'm hitting a one one timing. Yeah. Um, when he sees this many bunkers on the on the wall, I would even just back and make sure that Crest never takes a third. That that yeah. would that would be my game plan and start start getting the vipers, start getting you know taking into vipers. And I would like to see this. more. <coughs> with this, I would really like to see some more Overlord spread, considering how hard it is to deal with drops on red <coughs> when going roaches. And yeah. if you don't have any vision along with that, it's nearly impossible. Yeah. Let's see his hot king. Okay, so he's using, la he's adding the larva to his army control group. Mm. You see many players when they play roaches and stuff like this, they just use the all army hot king. Yeah. And if he does it like this, that means he's not saving stuff at home for the drops. And he has no vision. Crash could have very well snuck out the drop at the top side, considering, especially when he has the watchtower with the Helion. Yeah, this is true. Uh, once I identify, well, he should be pooping. Uh, the th things that next should be doing right now, uh, pooping creep. Yep. On definitely. the third. Very, very and, good. Uh, yeah. What what I do when when I see the game is not gonna end anytime soon. Yeah. With uh, normally with that one one timing, you want to hit the third of the turn, but it's non-existent, so yeah. you can just deny it. Um, and things that you can do is perhaps put a spine and a spore in each base or stuff like that because drops are almost yeah. always gonna happen, I think. True, true. Um, so I like doing I'm that. Not sure about the spine though, but spore definitely. His creep spread is decent. I think it's very good. Do you know how long the Overlord poop the nice third? One minute? Yeah. That's very long. Because it's not like they can save up stuff during that one, one minute. They lose a one minute of income because they don't want a mule and stuff. Yeah. Because if you mule your, mule your natural and your main, then they will run out a lot faster. Like a Zergs and a Protospace, the nor main normally runs out at around 19 minutes, but it's not the case with Terran. 
-hmm. They're not a, lo a lot earlier. Because they're mules. Yeah, and that's why they never mule the main, they always mule the natural. And considering you, if you double mule or triple mule your natural, then this one will, will run out really fast as well. So around 19 to like 25 minutes, it ripped for two bases. And then you have yeah. to double expand, and that's really hard. Yeah, and that's why Terran seems to explode an in income on three bases, because yeah. they're mining all three bases with mules, and it's like, you know, once it's over, it's over. Yeah. Until they take a fourth, but... <laughs> they while, had a good run. Lasts. Yeah, while it lasts, it's a yeah. pretty good run. It's a wild ride. Yeah. And here we see if Next is going to go for the wild ride with... Uh, this at oh I like this spore in the main here very nice yeah yeah that's that's what I was talking I about I don't and, like and this spore going up uh, what do you not like how he moves his entire oh wow this is nice now he can go go now go go yeah he needs to go deny the third again if there had been an overlord pooping creep there I would really like next to, uh, position here yeah. he's also max so he needs to start trading yeah I really don't like the thing that Crass isn't going for he just scan himself yeah. Because he can. Okay. And I don't like the no tanks though. That seems very odd to me. Yeah. But I don't know. If you're an equal upgrade with Medivacs, it's actually reasonable to fight it. Um, it's a, it's a one-sided fight almost always. Comes down to positioning a lot. Yeah. What did you say? Like. Y yeah, for sure. If there's enough Medivacs and uh, you're not trading a Zerg, then it really the ma sucks. Marauder Marine ratio to Roach Hydra ratio. Like if there's just marines and you have lots of roaches, that's really. This good. is good. Like I, I think I think next should sit in a concave and just send like five roaches to the yeah, to the third sure. or the hydro side. Yeah, yeah the hydro side. This is bad. You should pull back the hydro. And now I think this is going to do a convincingly fast favor. Yeah. It's not the DPS of the army is gone and then it's rip. Yeah. Yeah. You, adios. you can't. Yeah, you can't. Yeah. Exactly. Once the DPS of the army is gone. Yeah. That that fight could have looked the entire different way if uh, if next had the hydra's position. I still think Crash kind of would have won, but not like this. <coughs> not like this. Yeah. Look at the units lost. Wow. Damn. Yeah, and the medevacs. Wow. Yeah, and the medevacs. The medevacs are a big problem. Uh, they can snowball quite fast, and yeah, this, this is definitely not good for for next. He also didn't make an infestation pit, did he? No. So he doesn't have a clear transition from here. He's just no, gonna he have not. to keep adding. And Crash is on the way. Yeah. And we That's see uh, there's already one mineral patch more in the terms main. Yeah. And less in the terms main than in the Zerg, so it's starting to run out. Mm -hmm. Here uh, we see. I Chaz. like that he's setting a lot of hydras. Yeah. Normally the the hydra to roach rage ratio, obviously you wanna be spending as much money and minerals uh, as much minerals and gas as you can. So right now it's pretty obvious that he, he can make roaches, but yeah. making hydras will not be very good because he wouldn't he would float a lot of money. Yeah. Uh, but in general, the more marauders they have, the more the more hydras you want. The more marines they have, the more roaches they you want. Yeah. If they're making only marines, you know, there's no reason to go hydras. I have a feeling that three three when that kicks in for Crass, then it's good night for next. Yeah, good night I don't see how he would. Yeah, yeah, if he had infestors or uh, or vipers or both, then he can trade cost efficiently almost against anything. Yeah. Um, the only problem there becomes the mobility of the turn. Yeah. But as is. It's uh, yeah, it's gonna be pretty tough. Just Roach Hydra against this bio army. Yeah. He's gonna have to have like perfect positioning and a couple great engagements to get back into this. That's gonna be really rough. Yeah, he can't fight off creep, that's for sure. Can't he? No. I don't think he should. I don't think he could. Is that a song? I reckon. <laughs> you recognize what you I, rec I recognize a bit of it. Oh, maybe. Uh, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm next needs to uh, needs to take a fourth, and there's a bunch of roaches still stuck behind the hydras. Is not, is, this is just so hard for. Yeah, no, 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 no. But if he takes uh, an amazing fight, this is fight not. Here, no, that's not an amazing not fight. An amazing he's walking. Fight. He's walking into a concave. Yeah, uh, that's perfect for Crash. A meat grinder. Yeah, a meat grinder. It's, uh, it was yeah, very well played by Crash. Unfortunate for next. Class is just a superior player, I think. It seemed that way. Next making a lot of positional mistakes that game, but I think he had the right idea. Uh, he's clearly more comfortable with Mutaling Bane. I think he did really well there. Yeah. If he had just taken a fourth a little bit earlier, I think he could have won that game, the, yeah. the one on Frost. For sure. Uh, but uh, yeah, very good games. And uh, we might have uh, one more series of the day. We'll be back in 90 seconds and we'll yeah. let you know.